It is again my profound pleasure and honorable task for me to get this opportunity to introduce to you the keynote speaker for this occasion. As all of you know, it has been a long time tradition for mayors to share on this platform the current state of the city address and of course as well as their vision for the great city. As all of you know, Mayor Tonjo comes to this job with a vision of growth and prosperity for all of North Miami residents and business community. Mayor Tonjo has been recognized by many for her strength and leadership skills. She is the mother of three beautiful daughters and CEO of Tonjo and Associates, a public relations firm she started back in 1999. Mayor Tonjo has led an active life of civic engagement. She is recognized for her work as a social service specialist, counsel, teacher, and a popular radio and TV personality. Since being elected mayor of this great city, she still finds time to actively serve on different boards that cover the areas of advocating for the needs of the community, comprehensive immigration reform, transportation, and women issues. Mayor Tonjo has approached her role as a public servant with a zeal for change and a willingness to collaborate with community stakeholders to achieve greatness. Last month, as all of you know, she was baptized by fire. Facing with the challenge of balancing a budget while increasing capital improvement in social services, she does all that by lowering property taxes in the great city of North Miami. This was successfully accomplished through countless of hours working with city staff and her colleagues on the city council exploring ways to produce a budget that met the needs of the people. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I present you a leader that is driven by a desire to improve the quality of life for all of North Miami residents and business. So please stand up. Let's give the mayor a round of applause as we do in North Miami. Mayor Lucy Tonjo. Ah. It is indeed a pleasure for me to be here with you to give you my first city address. We are all so fortunate to live and do business in the great city of North Miami, a city that is definitely on the move. I must recognize my partners in leading this city to my destination. Vice Mayor Scott Galvin, Councilwoman Maria Lansterin, Councilwoman Carol Keys, Councilman Philippe Guénémé. I would ask them to come and join me because this is about us, not about me. I must, I must also recognize the work done by her former mayor, André Dupierre, and the last council for passing a city that is definitely ready to move to the next level. The city of North Miami have made remarkable strides in the area of community enhancement, economic development, education, and community safety. safety. I would like to thank also the North Miami Chamber of Commerce for hosting this historical event today. Thank you, President. Thank you all. I am committed and determined to further secure and enhance this area of progress and boldly face and conquer the new challenges facing our city at, the at this time and in the new f near future. This is a humongous task that will require a concerted effort 
by all stakeholders in our city. My colleagues in the council, our very capable city manager, Stephen Johnson, our city staff, the Chamber of Commerce, and the business community. Our most valuable asset, of course, the resident of our great city, who are committed to improving our community. Together, we will make North Miami an even better place to live, work, and play. Let's talk about customer service. North Miami is a diverse community with complex needs. Our residents of this entire city are, count, are counting on the elected officials and city staff to address their issue on a timely basis with good attitude. The residents are not an interruption in our bother in our job. They are the reasons for our job. I challenge myself and everyone concerned to improve our customer service. Let's all provide the level of service that will entice families and business people to place North Miami first on their list. Yes, we can do it. <laughs> to that end, I have directed the city manager to make sure all city employees are cross-trained capable of answering questions and making informed referrals. Programs and services, as well as vital information, will be made available in multiple languages, ensuring that our residents understand how their government works and participate fully in the process. Customer service should and will be the personal responsibility of every employee of the City of North Miami. <laughs> uh, we will continue to make all necessary measures to ensure the safety of our residents, employees, and elected officials. We want to make sure that every visitor to City Hall feels completely safe. To that end, some safety measures have been already been implemented and others are in the work. City Hall, the People House, will continue to be a welcoming and safe place to visit, to work, and to do business. We are taking steps to make our government more transparent and accessible. We recently launched the online permit portal where property owners and contractors can track the permit process and schedule permit inspections in a more convenient and efficient manner. The city has recently implemented a new utility billing system to provide efficiency services through automation. I must admit, that the transition has presented many growing pains to our knowledgeable staff. I must, I must also challenge my colleagues on the dais, as well as city staff, to take necessary time to make sure our residents fully understand that this transition was necessary and any inconvenience being experienced right now will be temporary. I can also comfortably argue that North Miami has set new trends in addressing education for its residents. This has been established through numerous innovative programs and initiatives. The recent incorporation of North Miami Educational Foundation as a non-profit entity to the city is just one example. Making higher education or specialized training accessible for our city residents has always been the focus. The city has provided scholarship to Task Force Talk in Children, the FIU First Generation Scholarship Program for the last two years. This year, the city launched a scholarship program in collaboration with North Miami Adult Education Center. As I move forward in my term, it is my commitment to continue to support and increase the city's investment in education. In the 2013-2014 budget, $100,000 was earmarked toward adult continued education and $110,000 for after school program in tutoring our children through the North Miami Police Athletic League. Our 
our adult residents will receive the support they need for specialized training and continued education, while our youngest residents will continue to receive the support needed to reach their full potential. North Miami Museum of Contemporary Art, we all know as MOCA, continues to be internationally recognized for its effort to educate our community in modern art. One popular program is MOCA on the Moon, where art instructors travel to locations throughout the community to teach our children about more modern contemporary artists and engage them in hands-on art projects. This program recently expanded to collaborate with the Creator Miami Jewish Foundation. Our children will be the artists and creators of our future. <laughs> the North Miami Public Library continues to make enhancements by undergoing a space reconfiguration in order to meet the challenges of our growing population. One of the North Miami invaluable assets is our diversity and rich culture. We have taken on the tradition of celebrating the many cultures that make up this city the great one. Our cultural events will continue to grow and be enhanced to include a focus on education. We just celebrated the Hispanic Heritage Month and Puerto Rico was the focus of this year. I would like to congratulate the Puerto Rican community for their wonderful The North Miami Police Department has worked to improve the public safety of our community. To that end, the 2013 crime rate for pardon crimes are down 5%, which is in addition to a 3% reduction in 2012 and a 9% in 2011. In other words, our crime rate is the lowest that it has been since 1975. I guess I don't have to tell you how proud I am of our police department and of course, good work, Chief Elias. <laughs> Part of my vision implemented by the North Miami Police Department is the city Citizen Patrol Initiative. This program will engage residents to become the eyes and ears of our police department and potentially will further reduce our crime rate. People in our community really, really want to get involved. 88 applications were received in two days, and more are waiting for next enrollment to be part of this wonderful project. I must say that our citizens are concerned, they are engaged, and they care. They show it through their participation in several activities the city is running, and I am so proud of our citizens. I envision a vibrant downtown in the heart of North Miami. I'm sure most of you have, you have heard me say that during my campaign. Our CRA can forge public-private partnership to create a downtown that is an attractive destination to a healthy nightlife. Other cities have done it, we can do it, and we will do it. Our city can and will look better. Capital improvements are a must. We will invest in improvements to the sidewalks in, resi in residential areas throughout our city. Our water plant is in dire need of innovation to adequately serve our future needs. We must continue to invest in these vital plans to make sure the services being provided are safe and reliable. Enhancement to our parks and lake landscape area throughout the city should also be a priority. Streetscape improvements such as the most recent Pioneer Boulevard on Northeast 137th Street renovation are needed to improve the aesthetics of our neighborhood. Our city aging housing stock is in need of attention. We must continue to secure federal and state funding to assist our residents who don't have the means to maintain their property in the North Miami standards. Renovation and upgrades to the housing stock will increase property value across the board. Let's all get involved in maintaining our proper properties throughout our city. A healthier community 
I challenge the community to take one in a million step to better health. We kicked off my Walk This Way initiative last week and we'll continue to promote walking for health to get adults, children, and teen actives. Get involved and walk with me. This is my challenge to you. Soon, you will have a chance to enjoy the outdoor fitness equipment that will be placed in all city parks. As for our senior services, we know that our older adults have unique needs and we will be serving them in a variety of ways, from providing opportunities to be pampered, to giving them information on services available to, to them. Our elders will receive the attention they deserve and they have worked all their lives to get it. We owe it to them. Since October 1st, I have partners with stakeholders and elected officials to educate our residents on programs such as the healthcare marketplace that is set to make a radical difference in our lives. We will continue to assist our residents. The City of North Miami Library have uh, navigators that have been trained to help our residents to, um, to go ahead and do the marketplace and find the proper health care that is convenient to them. We want to make sure that our small businesses, part-time employees, part-time residents, low-income families are registered to that wonderful health care program. I have a vision to address North Miami needs as well, to have a 24-hour urgent care facility to serve our residents. We will have an emergency medical facility right here in the city of North Miami. In closing, let it be said that the state of our city is good. Let us embrace and find strength in our unity to make North Miami the greatest city in which to live, do business, and raise a family. Together, we can create an action plan that will materialize these ideas. I call upon you all, my colleagues on the dais, the manager and staff, the business community and residents, to make this happen. Let us come together and take our city to the next level. Thank you. Recognizing your continued and ongoing support of the chamber and of the business community, thank you very much for sharing with us. I'd also like to say I'm, I'm glad to hear that you're going to take care of us all. <laughs>how does it feel to um, do your first city address well at first I was nervous <laughs> but I'm so glad as I um, put together the things that I have accomplished in 90 days it just gave me great pleasure that I had chose that path to serve to continue to serve on a higher level and it's wonderful to see that as I said during the campaign we are taking the city to the next level you made a lot of promises. How do you think you'll be able to fulfill those? Well, uh, those are the things that are ongoing right now. Uh, my biggest challenge is to create a downtown. We're talking about capital improvement, and we have instructed to the city manager uh, through our budget to put money aside to do capital improvement, which is sidewalk, which is beautification of the city, which is programs for the elderly. We are working on several things, and one of the things that we... The most challenging things to me is to create a downtown just like all other cities have it. We already identified the way we're going to get the money and this is going to be one of the biggest accomplishments for my government in the first two years. Do you, 
Do you have any other kind of, um, I guess, creative ways to find revenue besides uh, the downtown project? Uh, well, we are we are we securing federal and state money in order to do improvements. We're talking about uh, the, the water plant that is serving a growing population. The city of North Miami was a 60,000 residents. Now we over almost 70,000 residents. And we want to make sure that more people that are moving, the more we, are, uh, we have the capacity to serve all of them. We are ensuring also that our elderly gets the services that they deserve. Our children, the money that we set aside for them, or $110,000 to ensure tutoring program and after school care to prevent delinquency. And we want to make sure that we are there for our adults also through continuing education our, um, in our partnership with North Miami Adult Education. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Congratulations for your thank signature. Thank you so much. Mr. Calburn, you, the treasurer of the Greater North Miami Chamber of Commerce, as you know, this is a yearly event, this luncheon, which also is uh, the event where the um, mayor does the state of the city address. But from a business perspective, tell us what it means uh, for the chamber to really host this event every year. Well, the chamber has always, and this is for more than 20 years, and I've been involved with the chamber for close to 30 years, We've hosted this event, having the mayor's state of the city address, and it's really a, a whole camaraderie, showing the camaraderie of the Chamber of Commerce, which of course is involved with the businesses of all of North Miami and, and various citizens, and, of, and the city, and also with the police department. So it's just everybody really holding hands. We don't talk about it. We've been doing it for many, many years. In January, we host the, the Police Officer of the Year event, in, at the same location at the Miami Shores Country Club and it's just an honor to to just be positive about the community and keep on bringing things together. I always want to I also want to say um, thanks to uh, Barry Vogel who's our president with uh, Johnson & Wales University for um, uh, keeping on making this a a terrific event and also Ron Wellsant and Elena from the Chamber office who always do a great job in in um, in putting this together. Now, what about uh, the business life, recruitment, and also uh, how is the chamber growing uh, year after year? Well, we the chamber, we, we try our best. We hold functions. We hold various functions throughout the year. We have many business card exchanges. We have a business expo, which we're calling the Biz Bash this year. That'll be in uh, November over at MoCA. And, uh, and we're also going to have... Um, uh, flavors. Oh, I'm sorry. The Biz Bash is going to be at FIU at the Coven Center. The um, uh, the flavors, which is like the former taste of North Miami, is going to be over at the Mocha Center, and that's also going to be in November. So these should be two terrific events. And we just had our installation of uh, of officers and directors. And like I say, we always have many many business card exchanges and everything possible we can do to help the business community and that's the, the next month is going to be really important because President Barry Vogel is going to talk about the Chamber's vision and mission for the coming few years. That should be a really good event. The Chamber, except for December, is the fourth Wednesday of every month and it meets over here at the Miami Shores Country Club as we have been for about the last 20 years. In December we switched the date because of the holidays to the third Wednesday of the month.